stole this equipment from my school and it still sucks. This is not my natural element. I need to be outdoors, much like many people's turtles. Get your turtles outside, folks. Hey turtle nerds, welcome back to another video. In today's video, this is just gonna be a quick one discussing what to do if your turtle's not basking and when you guys should actually start worrying about your turtle not basking. Before we get started with today's video, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell notification thingy so you get notified when I upload new videos. Also make sure to head over to my Patreon, the link is gonna be right up here in the comments, in the description, everywhere. You get access to all kinds of exclusive stuff, all kinds of behind the scenes things, you see my animals. Before before I make a video after I get them. You get to see stuff that I do with the pond, which is new. There's just all kinds of good stuff over there. Oh, and you get to join this list of lovely people. Plus a uh, live stream this weekend for patrons only. So that'll be fun. I'm thinking Saturday, like two o'clock Eastern time. So that's the plan. If you guys want to head there, just get your questions ready, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to see, that's going to be patron only live stream, my first ever, and it'll be pretty fun. So with that being said, let's get into the topic of today's video. Why my turtle is not basking? I get a lot of questions from people asking why their animals are not basking. First off, what is basking and why do turtles do it? Hey turtle nerds, future uh, Dan here editing that video, why am I spinning? I already answered this question in a previous video and I'm on a crunch for time so I don't wanna have to re-edit all that. So I'm gonna steal a clip from one of my old videos. Ha. Turtles are cold-blooded, they're reptiles. This means that they can't regulate their own body temperatures. When you or I get cold, we put on a blanket. When we get warm, we take off some clothes or something. But turtles don't have the ability to do that, so they need to physically warm themselves up or cool themselves down. In order to do this, they bask. So first, let's start out with hatchlings. Why is my hatchling turtle not basking? Well, here's something interesting that more and more people are finding out. Hatchling turtles in the wild, it's their job to hide, eat, and just grow. They need to stay out of sight, away from people, away from predators. So if your hatchling turtle isn't basking, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just because hatchlings are way more skittish, they're more wary, they're more aware of their surroundings. They sort of are a lot more skittish and less inclined to bask. They don't like to be seen, they like to hide, they don't want to, they just, their job is to grow and be away from predators and be out of sight. They're probably not gonna be out in the open basking even in the wild because then they're like open to predators and birds and fish and all kinds of weird things that will come and eat them. If you do have a basking setup for your hatchling turtles and they're not basking, don't even worry about it. As long as you have heated, clean water, that's the most important thing for them. Everything else is secondary. I have friends who literally keep their hatchling turtles in like two inches of heated, clean water and no basking platform Form no surface for them to dry out on and they just have the most impeccable growth. I'll include some images right here and ask my buddy to send them to me because he's the one who sort of started looking into not providing a basking spot and who's had, I think, the most success. So basically, if your hatchling isn't basking, don't worry about it. Juvenile turtles are a lot more likely to begin basking. You know, these are ones that are like three, four, uh, five inches even. They're kind of sub-adults. They're not quite adults, but they're not hatchlings. This is usually the time that they're gonna start basking. If not, make sure you check your water temperatures. If your water temperature is too high, if it's like 82 degrees just for a juvie, you might wanna lower it just a couple of degrees and see if that gets them to go up and, and start basking. Another reason that they might not bask is that the basking area, people who have like those above tank basking areas, they're too far from the water. You have to understand that these turtles don't in the wild like travel that far out of the water to get on a dry surface. They're gonna find a piece of driftwood or something in the middle of their lake, pond, whatever they live in. So that way if a predator comes, right, they can just plop left, right, up, down, they can plop right into the water. If they need to walk a little bit on land, they're not as mobile on land, they're not gonna like that. They're always gonna prefer a spot close and low to the water. That's why these little like floating basking platforms I think are kind of the best, but above tank turtle toppers, whatever they are, DIY platforms that you make, those can work. It's just that odds are they're probably gonna prefer something closer to the water unless they happen to be chill. Some turtles don't mind at all, others will not utilize them and they'll only bask on the little ramp coming out of the water. You might wanna try moving the lamp onto that little ramp and see if that helps. If an adult is not basking, definitely check the water temperatures. See if you can lower it by a couple degrees. No lower than like 75 degrees though for the water temps. Also note any other changes in behavior. If your turtle is starting to act a little bit funny, a little lethargic, it could be indicative of other issues, some underlying 
having health problems that maybe you're not aware of. Hey, turtle nerd, sorry, so I'm in class. Okay, it's muted, thank God. I'm in class editing, and I forgot to mention two very, very important points. I don't know how I missed this. Turtles might be less inclined to bask if you just change their setup or you move them to a bigger tank or something. A change of environment might make them a little bit more skittish and a little bit more afraid and unwilling to bask. It might take two weeks or so for them to get adjusted to that new enclosure. Also, if their enclosure is in a high traffic area where people are walking all the time or your family is there, near there a lot or there's a lot of foot traffic, a lot of things going on around it, it might make them feel less comfortable and then less inclined to bask because, you know, things moving around, people walking by, they get scared and they hop in the water. All in all though, I mean, this is just for hatchlings, juvies, and adults. If your water is at the right temperature, it's clean, the turtle's acting normal, there's no shell issues, and they're not basking, don't worry about it. They just might not want to. My turtles outside, they don't bask much and they have the freaking sun. It's like the Lord's basking lamp. Just sometimes, I don't know, it's up to them. It's their choice. And I think that basking is not as crucial and uh, it's not as detrimental as some people make it out to be. If your turtle is still not basking after all of that stuff, you might wanna try dry docking them. That's just where you take them and put them in like a plastic tub or a container with a heat lamp over top just to get their shells completely dry because they need that sometimes. And if they haven't basked for like months on end, like here when I pulled some of my terrapins out of brumation for a fungus totally unrelated. So if your turtle hasn't basked in a while and you dry dock them, you might notice them shedding. Other than that though, if you see no issues, if their shell is looking totally fine and they're not basking, you tried changing the water temperature, they're acting totally normal, they're eating totally normal, don't worry about it. They're probably not gonna get an infection. They're probably not gonna get shell rot or anything. As long as you have clean water, that's like one of the most important things. It's not really a huge deal. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry that this was just a quick little video and there wasn't too much to do and discuss, not too much to show off, but Hey, that's just how it is. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.